offers them six volt um, lead acid batteries some golf cart batteries they're wired to provide 12 volt service so it takes two batteries to make one and I'm gonna replace it with one 12 volt or 12.8 volt 300 amp hour battery while I top that battery off I'm gonna go ahead and work on my um, battery uh, box I guess that's a box it's, a, it's really a shelf it's a tray a battery tray Actually like your products. Is that your new camera? Yes. Cool. There's the uh, the battery tray, the strap to hold it on there. We're charging the battery right now, so it's uh, fully charged before I get it installed. You know, I've been hem hoing around, hem hoing around, and uh, researching and going over the documentation and making this project a lot uh, a lot more difficult than it is when really when you get down to it it's pretty simple i know a lot of you guys are wondering what to do about the bird the battery isolator relay and delay system which is all this here these relays this is the aux start aux charge relay yeah this one this one goes to the generator that one comes from the house batteries that one comes from the engine battery um, so if I take the generator and put it over on the engine battery side and then disconnect this uh, aux start aux charge relay and then it will no longer aux start my engine battery and it will no longer charge the lithiums off of the alternator. So this is going to get disconnected and that's really the only other thing I'm going to do is I don't... Uh, I don't want to start the generator with my lithium batteries so I'm going to move this guy off of the house batteries over here to the engine battery so that if I do need to start my onboard generator all I, uh, I can do it off the engine battery and not pull that load off of my lithiums. Um, that's the only change I'm going to make up here. and. Uh, you know, this is, other than that, it's going to be a drop-in replacement. Aux battery is off. I've got this disconnect and this disconnect both uh, turned off inside. I've got my solar charging turned off on these batteries, so I'm ready to start disconnecting and pulling them out of there. heavy. Whew. One down. One to go. <laughs> Feels like actually probably two of those. <laughs> it fits right down in there, and that lithium battery will sit right in that tray and buckle in.
neat. That's a nice fit, too. I'm going to have to pull this out of the way to get that battery in there, though, because it's got to go back and then that's going to be fun. See, so you said that's a metric on Ford? Yeah, it's 10 millimeter on a Ford. Go figure. The top's a half inch? Yeah, so who would think the, the ones underneath the bottom would be metric if the top is standard? <laughs> Guys, I sure hope I can squeeze that battery in there with that hole. Whew, that's gonna be tight. Yeah, one of those batteries are heavier than this. Is that backwards? Yeah, but I need the terminals on the right, this side. Oh. It's very tight, but it'll go, I believe. Whew! <laughs> I had to get to catch my breath. Took a little bit of maneuvering to get it in there, but I, I knew it would fit. I had to put my transmission cooler back in here and hook her up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get those uh, bottom ones from underneath now because that battery's in the no way of reaching them. Yep. got the solar controller the positive going up into the control box the common going up into the control box the ground going to the coach battery I'm gonna have to tighten that up there's from the batteries 13 6 from the um, Oakmo tech we got nothing on this side because the converters off okay over here we got 10.39 that battery is about dead we're gonna have to get it charged up but without that aux charge aux uh, start solenoid and we're good here it is I went ahead and pulled those alligator clips off my engine battery and put um, regular terminals on there for the uh, solar charger that charges that and got the Oakmo hooked up to the solar controller in the house got everything turned on up and running and we're in business I want to say thank you to Oakmo Tech for uh, let me try out this battery for them and uh, over next year we'll put it through its paces this summer it's gonna get a good workout um, sitting here in quartzite and uh, I'll stay in touch and uh, let y'all know how it works. Thanks.
So their website is oakmotech.com. One more thing. There is a, uh, <laughs> y'all know it was coming. <laughs> There's a link down below. So if you want to get your own, go check that link out. See ya.